President Donald Trump has been forced into an embarrassing U-turn after initially reneging on a promise to give the grieving family of a dead soldier a $25,000 $31,000 personal donation. According to the Washington Post in a call to the family of Sergeant Dylan Baldridge in June, Trump pledged to give $25,000 of his own money to the family, as well as direct his staff to establish an online fundraiser. Sergeant Baldridge was murdered by an Afghani policeman weeks before he was due to return home. Dylan's father, Chris Baldridge, said he complained to Trump that the Pentagon's $100,000 death gratuity would go to his ex-wife even though I can barely rub two nickels together. Trump said, I'm going to write you a check out of my personal account for $25,000, and I was just floored, Mr. Baldridge said. He said, no other president has ever done something like this, but he said, I'm going to do it, but several months later, Mr. Baldridge said he hadn't received a penny from the president. When the Washington Post contacted the White House, it had no comment. Hours after the story was published, they issued a statement. The check has been sent, spokeswoman Lindsay Walters told CNN, it's disgusting that the media is taking something that should be recognized as a generous and sincere gesture, made privately by the president, and using it to advance the media's biased agenda. Trump has a long history of skipping out on charity, pledges. In 1996, Trumpgate crashed a charity event opening a school for children with AIDS in New York. The charity bumped a major donor from the stage so Trump could appear in photos next to Mayor Rudy Giuliani and actress Kathy Lee Gifford. Trump then left the event without donating anything. Trump's latest act of purported stinginess comes under after his alleged comments to the widow of a soldier killed earlier this month in Niger. He knew what he signed up for, but I guess it still hurt, Trump allegedly told the pregnant wife of Sergeant Le David Johnson. Trump's comments were relayed by Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, who was in the car with the widow when the president called. Democrat Congresswoman totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action and I have proof. Sad Trump tweeted overnight. Wilson's version of events were later confirmed by Sergeant Johnson's mother. Trump has yet to provide the proof he claims will exonerate him. Trump angered staffers from previous administrations this week when he claimed to be the first president to call the families of war casualties. If you look at President Obama and other presidents, most of them DIDNT make calls, Trump said. A lot of them DIDNT make calls. I like to call when it's appropriate. That comment infuriated Obama's deputy national security advisor Ben Rhodes, who lashed out on Twitter. This is an outrageous and disrespectful lie even by Trump standards, Rhodes said. Also Obama never attacked a Gold Star family. The reference is to the parents of Captain Humayun Khan, who died in Iraq in 2004 trying to intercept a suicide car bomber. Captain Khan's father Kazir gave a scathing critique of Trump over his proposed Muslim immigration ban at the Democratic National Convention last year. Go look at the graves of brave patriots who died defending the United States of America, Khan said. You will see all faiths, genders and ethnicities, you have sacrificed nothing and no one. A few days later Trump accused Khan of reading a speech from Hillary's scriptwriters, then questioned why his wife didnt speak. His wife, if you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say, Trump said. She probably, maybe she wasnt allowed to have anything to say. CBS News spoke to a number of families of fallen soldiers, and said there were several who had not heard from Trump. Copyright 9 Digital Tie Limited 2017